find. Okay. Yeah. Who's? Did you we find? Know. No. I, I just pulled over. Yeah, I okay. found a man. My heart is about to jump on my back. They were walking in the road? Yes, his face. He actually. Oh, I know where he, I know where he is. I think I'm pretty sure I know which one. He's from that one right there. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure. I hope so. Hey, buddy. Hey, you want, I don't know if you, you want, want to come to me or are you good with her? Oh, look at this you. Awful. All right, let's go. Uh, let me hang tight. Can you pull over here for me one second? I think I remember this guy. Poor little man. You, does he say anything to you? No, he didn't. He didn't say nothing, though? No. Oh, okay. Give me one no. second. Come here, buddy. But he almost ran out in front of my truck when I was turning from here. He's running in front of their car. Gotcha. Oh my God. Jesus <laughs> Christmas. Give me one. Just hang tight for me one second, and I'll get all your information. Is this where you live? Do you live here? Do you live here? Yeah. That's where you live? How'd you get out? Is this where you came from? Yeah. Hello. Awesome. See my blue lights, buddy? Look at that. We're gonna we're gonna sit in that car actually. Can you hang tight with him while I pull my car over here and we can he can sit in the back of my car for a second? Yeah, I'm Absolutely I'm is. Come here. He goes. Hey, little oh, man. Oh, you poor little oh, diaper. Out. Absolutely. Let me pull my car in here. I'm pretty. I had to. I had to pull over. I had to. No, absolutely. Where was he walking? He was just walking right here. Yeah, get ready to walk into the intersection. Jeez, and I'm just coming from me somewhere for my doctor's appointment. Okay. It's freaking out. Would you mind giving me a written statement sure, about what exactly sure. happened? Okay, give me I one second. I definitely will, man. And I know you're working, so I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible oh, for you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't want to say it's that trailer right there. Right. But I was out here for a similar incident. And it was that trailer right there. So I'm going to try to find the mom again. Same child? They were younger. I'm pretty, they were younger, obviously, at the time. But oh, that's why I'm kind of remembering him. You're a godsend today. Yes. Go ahead. Um, you want to sit in the back of my car real quick? Ooh. In the, in the, with the blue lights on? All we'll right. put the blue lights on, all right? Little man. Poor baby. Woo, look at you, man. I know, it's so cool. Right? Look at you. All right. You can. You want to sit in your in your car? Okay, Go ahead. Yeah, where it's nice and cold, great. and I'll hang out here with Thank him. You. What's up, little man? You like it in here? Woo! Boom! Push it. Look at that. Where's your mom at? Where's your mom? Where's your mom? Where's your dad? All right? Hey. You are full of bug bites. It's a truck. Yeah, that's that's my uh, traffic vest, so I don't get run over by cars, you know? Kind of like what we almost having to you. Oh, no, the car is rocking. <laughs> it's a hot one out here, ain't it? Whew. Woo, look at that. Push it. Is that one on too? Nope, push it. Boom. <laughs> look at that. Put you. Oh, get that mosquito. You don't need any more mosquito bites on you, buddy. Mosquito. Slapping down these mosquitoes, buddy. Get off of him. Did you do high fives? You do knuckles? Oh, high five. Down low? Good. I'm primary guy. We gotta try to find your mom and dad. Or somebody. Where they at? Where'd the mom go? Up there. That that's not your mom. Where's your mom? Oh, see a hat. Ah! That's my hat! Give me that hat back, boy! Give me that hat. <laughs> give me that hat. Boo. Do you recognize me? No. You don't recognize me? I was here last time when this happened. 
You remember that? Yeah. And your son today was in the street walking out on US-1, and luckily some nice ladies Daddy. saw him and stopped before he got smushed by a freaking car. You know, what were you guys doing in there? We were just sleeping. Just sleeping? Yeah. Can we get him a new diaper on? His diaper is really soiled. You don't even want to like, I mean, you can look at it obviously, but it's disgusting. Like I didn't even want to walk in there, but I wanted to make sure there wasn't another kid in there. Is this the same kid or a different one? No, it's the same kid. Okay. It's the same kid that called us last time. He's got a younger sister, I think. She's with the grandparents. So we're going to need to call DCF or the grandparents. Step out of the car for me. Come here. Come on. Step out of the car. Put your hands behind your back. I've had enough of this with both of you. What? Is she getting arrested? You both are getting arrested. So get your kid dressed. For what? Child neglect. Why? Come on. What do you mean, why? why? Have a seat in the back of my car. No, I've had enough please. of you guys. Sit in the back. Get in there. Please, please, why? What do you mean, why? Get, get, sit sit get in the back of the car. Please. Slide in the car now. Sure. Poor parenting. Add that one to the list. Yes, yeah. Turn around. Come here. You, you're next. For what? Why am, I, why, why am I getting arrested? Child neglect. Put your hands behind your back. What, what did I do, though? What did you do? It's what about you didn't do. You didn't watch your kid. Your kid's out in the road. This is a history with you two. I mean, this is just a, a circus. All I want was the kid to get some clothes and get changed. What do you you guys couldn't even doing? do that. What do you think I was doing? around. That's what you were doing. I was putting clothes on. This is not fair at all. It's not fair. Yeah, it's not fair to your son. That's what it's not fair to you. Have a seat. It's just, they're letting him eat old McDonald's that's like 10 years old. They can't get him clothes. But he's walking around with his glass everywhere. You know, this is just ridiculous. My patience is, is done with these two. Okay. You have a son named Jason or Colton? Yeah. Is someone supposed to pick him up from school today? How much have you had to drink today? Stop, stop, stop. Don't. You're intoxicated, you're in control of the child, and there's nobody else here. Okay, stop. On March 21st, 2024, an officer received an alarming call from a local elementary school reporting that a mother had forgotten to pick up her son. When the principal called the mother in question, they heard loud music in the background. It appeared the mother was intoxicated as she was slurring many of her words while on the phone with the principal. When the officer arrived, the school staff stated that they had been trying to get the mother to pick up her child for more than four hours. They had attempted to call the mother over 20 times before finally contacting the local police. I'll just get your information real quick, and then we've already contacted DHS, so they're going to be... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. absolutely. There she is. My Miss Hellander! The officer follows staff back to the office where they discuss how to move things forward. Is there anybody that we know of? There's not anybody else in the system. Like I said, the neighbor is in there. I want to go to dispatch. There are, in the past, mm -hmm. like as in like just a couple months ago, there were nannies, like teenagers, like mm -hmm. 17, 18 year olds, who were very consistently babysitting them. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I don't know that it was overnight or any of those kinds yeah. of things, but I do know that there are, there's that relationship. Mm -hmm. The officer was taking proactive steps to ensure the child's safety and well-being by trying to locate a responsible adult who could take care of them. Visiting the mother's home was a logical next step to gather more information and potentially find a solution to the yes, situation. Hey, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Officer... Whoop, hang on, right here. Hey, buddy. This is Officer... He How are you doing? He's gonna take you to be with Sawyer. Mama's not feeling very good, so he's getting Mama checked out. Okay. Okay. But he's gonna take you to hang out with Sawyer for a little okay. while. Okay. You wanna ride in my car? Oh, that's fancy. No. You, get to ride you don't wanna ride car. in it. No. What do you mean? I like that shirt. Wait, why do I? 
Well, why do you what? Take you to why Sawyer? Do... Yeah, I'm gonna take you over to see Sawyer because your mom's not feeling too good, so we had to get her checked out. Okay. Okay. Are right, you? Charlie zero two. The officer arrives on the scene at the mother's house. Alcoholism and substance abuse can have a significant detrimental effect on children, causing various physical, emotional, and psychological harm. It's important to address these issues and provide necessary support and intervention to protect children from such negative influences. How big, what kind of dog you got? A big bark. Where's your dog at? Hey, Joy. Hi there. Hey, you okay? Everything's okay. You're okay. Do you have a son named Jackson or Colton? Yeah. Do you have a son named Jackson? I do. Okay. Is someone supposed to pick him up from school today? Yeah. Okay, who's supposed to pick she him up from school? She doesn't know time right now. Okay. She doesn't know time. Okay. Do you know what time it is? So who's supposed to pick your kid up? Are you serious? I'm dead yeah. serious. They're calling us. Okay. It's 4.41. Of course I will. Okay. How much have you had to drink today? <laughs> no. Nothing? Nothing at all? Okay, even though I can smell it on you. Is there another adult here in this house? Are you kidding me? Ma'am, I wouldn't be asking these questions if I was kidding. I've been here before for this exact same issue. No. Yes, I have. And no. Okay. I have not been drinking today. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting in the car until we do some field sobriety tests, okay? Stop walking around. No. All right. You guys are stop. This stop. 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 Don't. You're intoxicated. You're in control of the child. And there's nobody else here. No. Okay. No. Stop. Hey, listen. Stop. Sit down. Just sit down in the chair. Talk to sit, down in the chair. <laughs> sit down in the chair. Sit down in the chair. Give me your hand. Okay. Give me your other hand now. No. I. Yep. Yeah. Don't pull away from me. You'll be in a lot of trouble. Stop. Hand behind your back right now. Get your other hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back right now. Do it now. You're not listening to what I'm telling you to do. It's four forty. You had to go look at the clock to tell me the time, ma'am. Uh, how dare you? And this is the second time I dealt with you in this condition. How dare you? You got a five-year-old kid crying because you don't know how to take care of yourself. That's embarrassing. Are you serious? Yes. Are you, are you serious? That's the question. Are you serious? Have a seat. Yes, you're going to have a seat. We're not going to play these games. Yeah. Come back. Last time what happened, we were able to get old dad. That they, there's a PO in place. So I know. We might have to have VHS involved on this. That's what I'm thinking. Ask for a rapid response would be my guess. <sighs> Let me do some investigating on that PO. Okay. Kids know. So here's the deal, okay? Do you have family members nearby? No. Okay. No family at all? No. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, well DHS is on the way out here. Right. Okay. They're gonna talk to you briefly. Okay. Okay, and then... Uh, Likely, you're probably going to go to jail for child neglect with me today. Okay? Depending on... Hi! 
because uh, your current condition, uh, What's wrong with my condition? You're intoxicated. I am not. Okay. That, you can say that all you want, but... I am not intoxicated. Okay. No. My car reeks of alcohol and you're inside my car. Oh, absolutely not. Okay. And I can blow. Okay. 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 I'll blow. You, you want to blow? Okay. No. No, stay seated. Stay seated. He'll come bring it to you. Don't. Don't what? Get me out of these handcuffs. You. No, you tried to get in your car earlier and drive off, and that's not... A, no, we can't do that. And then instead what? of listening to me, you tried to get away from me, and that's not okay. No, you're being very offensive. Okay. Yeah, you're being offensive. Okay. Don't be a jerk. I'm not trying to be offensive, and I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just giving you the facts, ma'am. Everything no, that I've ever heard. Not. Okay. My child was at school 11 minutes later. No, okay. I'm not going to blow. Not going to blow now. Imagine. No. You know, okay. you see, I thought you were intoxicated. This will show if you're intoxicated. No. What do you guys think you're doing? Taking you to jail. Yeah. For child neglect. That's what we're doing. Kidding me? I'm, I'm dead serious. Or, I, I mean, he was at school 11 minutes later. 11 minutes. What's wrong with you, people? You didn't even. You? you didn't even know what time it was. I do know what time it was. 11 minutes. You had to go look at the clock to tell me what time it was. So chill in there for a little bit. A child protection service worker arrives to speak to the mother. It is at this time that the mother admits to drinking an entire bottle of vodka after dropping her children off at school in the morning. She then admits to being an alcoholic. I don't know how to describe it. Wired up. I don't know. Sam wired. Mad. Yeah? What, what are you mad at? I'm this whole thing. The mother is trying to convince the CPS worker that her child is a walker. What about your neighbor? Miss Margaret here. Where your kids are frequently. Is that okay or is that not okay? It's not okay. okay. She's the one that did this. No. You did this. Yes. You did this. The school called us. She did not call us. I had to go over there and ask her for help. She did not call. Four eleven. I don't know where. You... Not, not correct. Not correct. Walker. They didn't let him walk because that's they don't. He doesn't usually walk. Otherwise, they would let him walk. Do you think you you think your kids want to live without you? That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you help and get them in a safe place for the time being. Okay. We don't want to take your kids. All right? That's the last thing we want to do. You're their mother. They know you. They love you. You love no, them. Right? No, the school called. Yes. This is what happened. Yeah. This is what's happening. Yes. Because and yeah. you have made some. And Miss Cooper, Miss Archer, Miss Taylor. That's because you didn't make very good decisions today. Let's be honest. That's why this is happening. You can't, you can't blame this on them. You can't blame this on them. They didn't put you in this condition and tell you to do what you did. 
As the situation unfolded, the mother found herself in a difficult position, being taken away to the local jail. In the midst of the turmoil, a ray of hope emerged as the children were placed under the care of a trustworthy neighbor. The mother found herself with plenty of time for reflection while sitting within the confines of the jail walls. The weight of her poor choices bore down on her as she contemplated the consequences of her actions. Charged with child neglect, the reality of her situation sank in as she was sentenced to two years of probation. This sentence served as a stark reminder of the gravity of her mistakes and the impact they had on her children and their well-being. Through the silence of her cell, she grappled with regret and remorse, realizing the importance of accountability and the need to make amends for her past actions. <laughs>